Hey everybody, what's going on? Hope you guys are doing good. I am doing just great. And you are looking at a picture of Mick Mars. And the picture of Mick Mars is really not what this video is going to be about. It's about what he is holding. And you are looking at that guitar there, which surprisingly, considering the internet is full of all kinds of information, I can't find a damn thing about it. And I did have some help from a few people. I got to have to thank uh, Mick, Mick's son, and Green Terror for the information that they ended up giving me about this guitar. Mick's son, I guess, um, knows or has seen or something about this guitar to where Mick Marge's name is on the headstock. It's a Charvel guitar, or made by Charvel. And... I guess it was only used in photo shoots because you can't find something of him using it in concert. It's not in his personal collection. I've watched the videos and seen the photos and everything else about that, uh, about Mick Mars and, and the guitars that he owns and stuff, which he has a lot of guitars. Uh, so it's really hard to even find a photo besides this one and this one here on this guitar. That's it. So thanks guys for helping me out with this to give me a little bit more information. It was very useful as far as uh, authenticating the body style, which is going to be a little bit different because this body style here, the points come to more of a sharper point than a rounded point. Your traditional uh, destroyer guitar has kind of like rounded points I guess and from what I've come to find out online looking at body blinks as far as well not body blinks but kick guitar bodies I guess you want to call them to where uh, you can get a warm mouth body or you can get a, another body that's made by somebody else where it's the same style but different not exactly the same as this so you'll be doing some trimming which I'm going to show in a little bit of what I've got going on so I ended up hunting down some templates and one of the templates that I really have a hard time finding was this all right now this is for a bolt-on neck and that's what I want because Mick Marge's guitar if you can see here let me find the picture zoom in if you can see right here that's a bolt-on neck that is not a set neck this is too squared off over here and going into the body to be a set neck so that's a bolt-on so what I ended up doing is I found these guys here and I went to their website but they're not taking orders right now so it's like okay this sucks because you guys are the only ones that have this template that I could find and they make it out of plexiglass so I'd rather have it made out of plexiglass or uh, acrylic, sort of say, than MDF. All right. So I ended up going into this and I found all right, an EX body. So I picked up this template here, even though it's MDF or yeah, it's MDF. Um, and what I'm going to end up doing is gluing in some of the pieces like right here. I'm going to glue that in. I'm not worried about the cutout for the neck pickup because this original guitar does not have that. The humbucker for the bridge, that will be used. This pickguard will not be used. There's going to be a lot of pieces out of this that's not going to be used. But from what I've looked at as far as matching this body with this body, they're pretty damn close to the exception of the line right here, the fill-in right here. Not exact, but they're close. So they did use the same type of body shape. They just filled in this area, but it's a little bit different in length. So that's going to be a little bit hard as far as uh, coming up with an actual duplicate of this guitar without it being a little bit different. And in my case, it's going to be a little bit different. The look and feel may not be the same as the real one, but who knows where the real one is. So what I've got going on is I'm going to move this off to the side because I have this. 
And what this is, is a body that I ended up making from just overall designing uh, what I've seen online, all right? And so I named this the MM Star Guitar. All right, so this is where I'm going to start here. Now, it's not the same thing. It's missing a few pieces. And so far, um, I've got part of the layout pretty much of what it's supposed to be. All right, I have a center line drawn across the middle of it. I measured it. It is center, so I'm not worried about that. Plus, when you're using this program, if your line is not completely straight, it actually shows in the line itself of how it's pixelating either up or down. It kind of has like a twisted look to it. So that line going down the middle is perfectly straight. All right. So other things that are going on is the Jaguar bass guitar is off to California to its new owner. So that has found its way to somebody else who's going to love it or sell it. I don't know. But we'll see. The Kramer, dollar bill Kramer guitar, is going to be on its way back to the owner tomorrow. And the flamed Jackson guitar is still under touch-up. I ended up finding the right paint as far as touch-up color goes to fill in the nice chip that was inside of it and build that up layer by layer by layer waiting for it to dry first a little bit of a sanding then add a little bit more to build that hole up and get rid of those edges that are around the original chip so I'm going to be ready probably tomorrow to end up uh, wet sanding that down and hitting it with some clear wait for the clear to dry sand it buff it and blend it all into where it matches so the color came out pretty good as far as the match goes it's just getting it down and making it nice and smooth again so that's what's going on over here I figured I'll work on this a little bit and see what I can come up with as far as changes go and uh, I also have another idea. I've got a Jackson body. It's a V body. And I ended up picking up the Jackson neck that is for that body. And I've decided to do something with that that I've never done before. And I'm going to try it out and see how it works out. And possibly make something that's going to be pretty cool. I hope. Alright, back to this one here. So... What I got going on here is just an overall body. Now, if you look at the actual guitar from Mick Mars, it's a little bit pointed, or more pointed, on the edges, each corner, instead of being more rounded. So that's one part that's going to have to change as far as making this guitar the edges of it, these look like they're nice and straight, all these arms, so they don't have like a, a bow in it or a curve to them. You know, it's got a rounded pocket going into the horn from the uh, neck. And that's basically part of the guitar that might stay the same. The rest of it might be changing a little bit. So these corners here, this one right here, this one right here, are sharp corners corners all right they're not um rounded like they you see in this template here this part over here looks like it is right where it's supposed to be and if i find the other photo that i have that is kind of bleached out a little bit and you can kind of see the guitar a little bit better let's see you can see that you know that's not really that rounded right there and you can still see that these guys come to pretty much a point. What I did is I cropped the photo out and turn, turned it so it would be the right angle or close to the right angle so I can kind of get an idea of what's going on with this. So move that off to the side because I'm going to be using that as a reference. So this here, I can either leave that or round it off maybe a touch more. I think I'm going to leave it because if I look at the other photo about this, um, well, it's kind of darkened because of mixed hairs in a way and it always has to be something but if I go to the other photo of him standing for a picture let's see here put this over here zoom on that and you can kind of see that yep that looks like it's more of a sharper point than what 
I was thinking so that is going to stay this will stay this here will stay but as it comes down to here this needs to be sharper this needs to be sharper and so does this these need to be more sharper than curved as well so what I got planned over here is to start doing a little bit of work as far as making some lines go so I've got this program here which is pretty nice I mean I kinda like it I don't need that thick of a line I want a little bit more narrow there which is kinda cool for doing some photo editing I use it a lot as far as uh, uh, removing backgrounds and stuff like that so I'm gonna go ahead and you can kinda see what I mean when the line is on an angle it's kind of like in steps or it looks like it's twisted or alright so I'm going to go ahead and put that line on top of this one. Just giving it a little bit of a sharper angle. There you go. Now for here, I wish I didn't make this so fucking big. Let me see if I can do this. Uh, you're in my way. Zoom out a little bit. I might have to go with the other. No, this will work. This should work. So I'm going to cover that up. Move this over a little bit. Yeah, that worked out. I just have a little line I have to get rid of, so I'll go here and say goodbye to that. There you go. Zoom in a little bit. Move my photo where it needs to be. Because I'm not done yet. Alright, so I want to work on this part over here. Now, this I'm going to have to remove some material of the picture, or wood of it. <coughs> and maybe add a point here somehow make it a little bit sharper because the points on the original one are not curved as much as this is so if I go here and I go here this gives me a little bit longer of a body but I'm tapering it down a little bit All right, so I tapered that down, and I'm going to go over here and do the same thing. So I'm going to taper that down and bring this to the point like that. All right, so I want to put a little bit of a round cap on that. Maybe this will work, maybe this won't. Center that one, put this one there, put this one right there, put this one towards the middle. Alright, so that gave me a little bit of a round cap, narrower than what it's supposed to be as far as this picture goes. So now I want to work on this part over here. Alright, so that's going to maybe there so I'm gonna put that there this up in this curve this around this curve and then move this into place over here you can tell I've used this program quite a bit can't you bingo and that gave me that curve right there so now I can go with a straight line again the straight line is going to be going to somewhat of a point so I'll be removing material Bingo. Now, this don't worry about that line there. It won't be there. So this one to this one here is the same thing. Get back over here. You guys. So I'm gonna put this close together, and this is supposed to be a sharp point. Give this, make this a little bit more narrower. Uh, give me my little curve at the tip over here. 
Oh, wrong one. There we go. Put that in the center. Move you off to one side. And move you off to the other side. Close, not bad. Go to brushes. Oops. Clean that up a little bit. Narrow this down. Alright, so that's pretty much what I'm looking at as far as that goes. So let's go to this other horn, or other side of the horn. I'm looking for a sharp point there. Bring this down. Probably taper it just a little bit. And then the other one, which will be going here to here, tapering it a little bit. And then I'll go with my curve again. Stop it. Here, here, and move it over here. And line these guys up. All right. So that's the overall shape of the body tapering off a lot of the extra over here that I don't need that kind of matches up with what I've been looking for as far as this body goes. So if I zoom in on this body, really zoom in on it, kind of give you half of the body here. So I got a little bit sharper of a line here, a sharp corner here, this is good. And then I'll go on this side here, which I don't want it to do that. So here's the bottom half of the guitar. Yeah, I know, it's kind of a pain in my ass as far as that goes, but if you zoom in on this one, it's a little bit sharper of an image. Make it go sideways. Yeah, it's a little bit, a lot closer than what it was. So now to make this part of the horn, the last part. Now, if you look at this, if you would put an EX body on top of this, this would line up. So this sticks out a little bit, but not by much. So if I were to take a line and go like this, connect it to here, and then connect it to here, this would be an angle line, and this would be an angle line. So it matches up pretty much like an EX body would. So now to try to figure out exactly where to put those lines. So I got this here. And I'm going to go ahead and place it. Now, the way that I've been looking at this is where it falls, like, next to the bridge, all right? So, I'm looking at, like, somewhat around even with the bridge, all right? And, like I said, if you take this and kind of, like, put a line here and a line here, they it angles like an EX body guitar. So, I'm going to call that right there. The next one's a little bit more difficult because it looks like it starts off higher than the bridge. Giving it kind of like a, a different look to it. But if I put these guys here and here, I think I got it. The angles look right. So what I want to do now is I want to take and let's see here. I don't think I can do a selection as a triangle, can I? No, probably not. So if I take a good chunk like this, 
and I copy it and then I paste it and move it over here am I going to have a full piece I can make this into a full piece so what I want to do is I'm going to pull it there pull this down just a hair bring this up just a hair and bring this out to about there and then add what I've already done as far as my straight lines go Put this here There, there's one. There. 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 There's two. Now to remove smaller make the bubble a little bit smaller all right so matching this up maybe So that's as close as I'm probably going to be getting this as far as the body goes. But this is what I am looking at as far as what I'm needing to do. So when I get the template, I'm going to have to sharpen the tips up a little bit. I said tips, not tits. Okay, just want to clarify that. I'm going to have to sharpen each part over here. And over here, a little bit more, getting rid of the how round it was because the original has got more of a sharper point to it. Um, I've got all the templates for a neck pocket. I got the templates for the humbucker. I got templates for the control cavities. So that stuff is not going to be that big of a deal as far as making and coming up with the overall for the body itself. It's just a template for the body. So going back to pictures over here that I've got uh, let's go this way as far as this template goes I have to see how sharp these are because if they're not as sharp as the picture is then I'm going to go and check to see if I can do something with this either I'll have to add some more wood to it or re-angle this whole thing, which I don't want to re-angle the whole thing. I'd rather add and glue a little bit of wood to the template and make that, you know, the whole thing. Uh, same thing with the other template that I got as far as this one here goes. You know, this corner here is pretty sharp, so I'll be able to glue this into place because this is removable, and it'll be pretty much secure with CA glue, and then go ahead and make my line going in and my line going out this way and then coming up with the line here and the line here for the point removing this area and removing this area over here making this into the body that I'm looking for but the only problem is I have to compare the size of this body to the size of this to make sure that they are pretty damn close as far as length and width goes because this one here looks like it's stretched out a little bit more compared to the other one um, and again I've got the wood that's coming tomorrow I've got the uh, it's a nice piece of basswood and uh, yeah so that's my little transition here as far as making this into reality I know there's a couple of people out there that are kind of excited about this and I mean like like really really excited about this I am too because this is going to be the first body that I'm going to be cutting out and the nice thing about this body too is that good luck finding another one so I'm gonna go ahead and start this project as soon as I get the parts are right, you guys take it easy have a good one I will catch up with you all later take care